In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best gaming mice for competitive Fortnite. I will be showing you guys one option for every budget and give you a detailed review on each gaming mouse. We're going to have one for the budget option, one for the mid-range option, and one for the high-end option. We're going to be focusing on pure performance while also taking into account some basic aesthetics because we wouldn't want to look bad while playing Fortnite. Before the video starts, I just want to note that if you guys want to buy any products in this video, then you can use the link in the description. There are Amazon affiliate links which will not only support the channel but will also send you directly to the product that I'm referring to. Anyways, let's not waste any more time and get straight into the video. Starting off with the budget option, we're going to have the Razer Viper Mini. The Razer Viper Mini is the best choice for a budget gaming mouse, particularly for games like Fortnite. First of all, it's currently sitting at around $30-$40, to $40, which is a huge steal for a gaming mouse of that quality. Not only that, this mouse is at 61 grams and it functions the same way as other high-end Razer gaming mice. It has the Razer optical sensors, it has two side mouse buttons, and it also works well with Razer Synapse. The mouse in itself is lightweight and agile, making it ideal for fast-paced games like Fortnite. It also has an ambidextrous design, which means you can use this mouse if you're left-handed, and arguably its best feature, the Razer optical switches, and all the high-end quality Razer features at a reasonable price. As for its cons, it's obviously smaller in size, which may not be so comfortable for users with larger hands. You're kind of instantly forced to play with a claw grip if you're using this mouse, which is honestly fine. And of course, this mouse has limited DPI range, but most of you will be playing on the 400 to 1600 range anyways. Overall, the Razer Viper Mini is excellent for the price, and its quality will stand out compared to the other gaming mice in its price range. Moving on to the mid-range gaming mouse, we're going to have the Glorious Model O. This gaming mouse is one of the most popular gaming mouse for competitive gaming. This mouse is currently sitting at around $50 to $60, which is really good considering the overall quality of this mouse. This mouse has Pixart PMW3360 sensor, which is insanely fast. The DPI goes up to 12,000 and it currently weighs 67 grams. This mouse is extremely lightweight considering the size of this mouse, and it fits most and it doesn't matter if you have big or small hands. The high quality sensor literally destroys any other sensor in its price range. And of course, we cannot forget about the Honeycomb's shell design and it's perfect for airflow and reduced weight. As for its cons, however, the lightweight build might feel sturdier than most gaming mice. And if you were to buy the wireless version of this mouse, you definitely have to be charging it most of the time in comparison to other wireless gaming mice. But to be honest, overall, this gaming mouse is the best if we're talking about a price to performance ratio. With its excellent sensors, customizable features, and affordability, this makes it a very strong contender in the gaming mouse market. Before we go on over to the high-end option, I have some honorable mentions. So we're going to have the Steel Series Rival 3, the Lamzu Atlantis Mini, and the Logitech G305 Lightspeed. All of these gaming mice can make a case of being the best in their price range. Feel free to pick any of these up if you're interested in them. But anyways, the best gaming mice in my opinion is of course the Logitech G Pro X Super Lite 2. This gaming mouse sits at around $150, which is pretty expensive for a mouse, but also you get the absolute best quality gaming mouse in all of competitive esports. This gaming mouse can go up to 25,600 dpi, it weighs at 63 grams, and it has no RGB which makes it significantly more focused on performance. This mouse is extremely lightweight for its size which is why literally every pro uses it. The sensor is by far its best feature, I honestly felt like my aim significantly improved because of this mouse, and in my opinion one of the most underrated features is its long battery life. Ever since I bought this mouse 4 months ago, I've only ever had to charge it 5 times. This mouse lasts a very long time if you play it wirelessly. This literally separates it from every other wireless gaming mouse in the market and is just overall the best wireless gaming mouse in the world. However, its biggest downside is obviously the price. $150 for a gaming mouse is just not it and if you're a big fan of RGB, then you're definitely not going to get a lot out of this mouse. Nonetheless, this is an exceptional gaming mouse and is the go-to mouse if you want the best overall performance in competitive esports. So that is going to be it for the best gaming mice in all of Fortnite. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to purchase any of the products that I mentioned at all in this video, then feel free to check out the link in the description. Otherwise, that's it for me, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.